welcome back students now we can draw graphs of quadratic expression very easily now let's understand its another utility which is used in location of roots here location of roots will be given roots themselves will not be given but the information about the roots location will be present so let's start from location of roots very good questions are framed because this is a topic which requires lot of proper analysis drawing the graph and proper analyzing the graph as per the given information okay so let's start with the location of roots now to whenever location of roots is given we basically talk about four major steps to solve the question the first step is we draw the rough figure now when i talk about drawing the rough figure as we have already seen drawing the rough figure means that we know about a whether a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0 where a is coefficient of x square we know about discriminant which can be greater than 0 equal to 0 or less than 0 so according to these informations we can draw the rough figure after that the second step is we discuss discuss about discriminant now there may be some information given but this information may be like it's written that in a question that there are two real roots okay so that means discriminant is automatically greater than 0 or two equal roots so automatically discriminant becomes equal to 0 or it has this equation is always greater than 0 okay so that means it is always always greater than 0 the discriminant would be less than 0 it will having a graph like this so that means according to our question we can identify that what will be our discriminant now the next step is we discuss about range of minus b upon 2a which is a point where maximum or minimum value occurs now till this time this point would be very clear to all of you because minus b upon 2 is the point where minimum occurs when a is greater than 0 and maximum occurs when a is less than 0 so we talk about it talking about it means we will be talking about its range as per the location of roots and finally we will be talking about fk sign the k is in reference to the location of roots suppose it's given that both roots are greater than k so i can talk about what is the sign of fk okay so these things will be more clear as in we will be talking about more details types so let's talk about the first category first type which is when both roots are positive alpha greater than 0 and beta greater than 0 so let's see how we will be drawing the figure and we will be imposing the conditions okay. now whenever i have to draw the figure i have to be a bit careful okay uh, first of all i have to think that a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0 coefficient of x is equal right? in this you can see that nothing is given okay so we will be making two cases now don't worry that uh, it would be very lengthy so it's just for our a uh, full analysis whenever you will be getting a question definitely coefficient of x is equal will also be given in 99% cases so don't worry okay it's just i just want to make you complete analysis to give a full analysis that is why we are doing everything in steps okay so i will have two figures now in first i will be taking a greater than 0 and other a less than 0 so a greater than 0 means my parabola mode will be upwards so when both roots are positive suppose i'm drawing alpha and beta so my graph will be looking like this okay now when a is less than 0 my parabola mode will be downwards so my graph will be looking like this okay now both roots are positive so because both roots automatically means that discriminant d will be greater than 0 that means it will be cutting x axis two number of times so you can see that in both the cases i have drawn the graphs in which it is cutting axis two number of times okay now when i will be condition imposing conditions see in the first case let us talk about discriminant greater than 0 in second case also discriminant greater than 0 let's talk about minus b upon 2a okay so this is my first condition minus b upon 2a so in the first case it will be a value at which minimum occurs 
So, because it is given that alpha is also greater than 0, beta is also greater than 0, so automatically point at which minimum occurs that is also greater than 0. So, we can impose condition on this that minus b upon 2 is greater than 0. Okay. Here also you can see that point at which maximum occurs that is greater than 0. And finally, we talk about fk sign. So, here you can see that uh, reference, what is reference given that both roots are positive. Positive means greater than 0. That means origin is the reference, 0 is the uh, is reference here. So, I will talk about f0. In first case, you can see that f0 is positive. And here you can see that f0 is negative. So, basically to combine these two conditions, I can say that d is always greater than 0 minus b upon 2 is also greater than 0 and you can see that when a is greater than 0, f0 is greater than 0. When a is less than 0, f0 is less than 0. So, I can put it like this, a into f of 0 is greater than 0. So, with these three conditions, as soon as I am going to apply these three conditions, my questions will give me the complete detail as in when I will have both roots positive. Okay. So, next, let's come to the next type.